Okay, hi guys. I um, thought I would do a quick video this week going through my art supplies that I use the most often because a lot of you were curious and eh, it looked like fun. Also, disclaimer, I am not making this video to brag about the nice supplies I have. I literally started out with a ballpoint pen, a 2B pencil, and a set of $5 watercolors. So trust me, you can start from anywhere, and I'd love to do a cheap art supply challenge to prove so. Where is this tangent going? Uh, hey, you know what's cool? Sketchbooks! Yeah, segues. I'm so good at segues. Sketchbooks. So the sketchbook that I use is the Handbook Co. Travelogue Sketchbook. I really like it. It has a nice cloth cover. Um, it has an orange, ri an orange ribbon bookmark sewn in and an elastic closure. Lays flat and I love that you can paint on both sides of the paper. Colors show up nice and vibrant and it takes water really well. So you can saturate the page as much as you like. Now we have my watercolour palette, which is, yes, a complete and total catastrophe because I'm not good at cleaning my palettes, okay? I don't want to. I will use every little space that I can to mix my paint and reuse my previous mixes until I truly have to clean my palette. As you guys know, if you saw my White Knights watercolour review video, I am primarily using White Knights watercolours now. They're full pans, which make them very easy to use, and because they're so inexpensive, I can afford a lot more colours, so I'm not always mixing colours. Like purples, because I use purple a lot. And I will put the names of the colours in my palette on the screen for you. Here they are, look at that! So many cool things. Yeah. Oh look, my gouache palette is a mess too. Are we even surprised though, really? Gouache is great because you can cover failed sketches with it and pass it off as, oh, I just decided to do a gouache study of this landscape when in actual fact you were just trying to cover the ugly hands you were attempting to practice. But seriously, I love using gouache to do scenery because it allows for a lot of mess ups. Uh, it's very easy to layer over previous colors and quite often I'll pull out my gouache palette and some reference images from Pinterest if I just want to study scenery. Once again, I will list all of the colors and brands included in this palette on the screen. Okay, let's talk about the stuff that I use to do the sketching. Uh, we've got this Faber-Castell sharpener that was like $3 and it works really well. That's my kneaded eraser. It is good for erasing mistakes. Uh, it only works on paper though, otherwise I would have used it on, you know, my whole life. Uh, this is my fancy Faber-Castell polymatic flamethrower lipstick laser mechanical pencil that I got because all my other ones broke and I do actually use mechanical pencils every once in a blue moon, so, you know, good to have on hand. Oh, and I also sometimes sketch in ballpoint pens, so I've just got this super cheap Bic Atlantis. You can usually find them on special at Woolworths for you Americans out there, that's a supermarket. Um, now enjoy this upside down shot of me pretending to use my Bic pen because my last brain cell blacked out for about 30 seconds. And now we have the smallest pencil in existence. This is the Prismacolor Coal Erase Pencil, I think in rows, but I sharpened all that information away ages ago, so because I'm a cheapskate and I didn't want to fork out a dollar and 25 cents for a new pencil, I spent $2.99 on a pencil extender. Because logic. Also it was a super ugly pencil extender, so I just put washi tape on it. Oh look, brushes! Those things we use to apply the watercolour to the paper and do the thing. Do the thing. I got these Jackson's own brand silver line brushes, super inexpensive on Jackson's Art Supply a while ago, and they work just great. I'm not personally comfortable using brushes that include animal hair, so synthetic works perfectly fine for me. The brushes are a flat size 10, a round size 6, and a round 4, and I've found that these are really the only sized brushes that I need. They're pretty versatile. Pens! Inking pens! Inking pens are awesome. I like line art. Can you tell I've been watching the Jet Pens YouTube channel for, for like tips on how to film pens in the most aesthetically pleasing way? I mostly use the Faber-Castell Pit Pens because they are waterproof, create a nice dark line, just overall they're a fantastic pen. I also use the Pencil Brush Pen from time to time, but I forgot to include it in this footage. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I don't do a lot of white highlights, but when I do, accidentally referencing a meme there, I use this white gel pen. Uh, yes, those exist. When I found out, I was just as shocked as you are. This is the Jelly Roll brand. Pretty inexpensive. Apparently you can get them for like a dollar each in America, but 
get this, when I ordered mine off eBay, I got a two pack and it was like six or seven dollars. So what is up with that, America? You have something against Australians who want to cash in on your cheap white gel pens? Okay, I also use the Tombow brush pens just as a little bonus. Usually I use these in my sketchbook over top of gouache to give it like a few different tones. And I use the black one to do line art over gouache scenery and to fill in large black spaces. Uh, I think they work really well. I like them a lot and I am looking into expanding my collection. Um, yeah, so a quick announcement before I go. I made a red bubble. You should totally check it out and and you should tell everyone you know about it because I need to eat Skittles and Skittles cost money and yes, red bubble. You can get stickers, art prints, iPhone cases, Samsung cases, all that good stuff. And I'm adding new pieces to the shop all the time. So definitely, even if you can't buy anything right now, feel free to like check it out. Drop me a follow over there because I'd, I'd really appreciate it. This is like, I'd say, one of my first biggest steps into attempting to be an actual artist. And, uh, I, yeah, I just, I'm not good at self-promos, I'm sorry. Um, thank you guys so much for your support so far and ongoing. And that's it, just a quick little video because a lot of people submitted questions in the Q&A asking what supplies I used. And I figured it might be nice to make a video showcasing them, so... Thank you for watching, my social media links are in the description. Be sure to check out that red bubble shop, man I'm so sleazy. You guys are so cool, you are the coolest, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Fail!